We have three items I want to, to mention briefly this evening. And I'll have to remind myself to slow down because the marketing staff was saying you got excited and you talked faster, so I'm going to slow it down. <laughs> Second and Bryant intersection improvements. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, second and Bryant intersection improvements, if you haven't been out there over the last couple hours, I say the last couple hours because it seems like every few hours the change, the traffic uh, action going on there, and that's, that's a good thing because we're coming to the close of that project. Construction on the intersection of 2nd Street and Bryant should be substantially finished uh, and open for all directions of traffic uh, by Labor Day. The bulk of the remaining work is in the southwest portion of the intersection. In that area, the contractor is installing uh, placement of drain structures and asphalt subsurface. Actually, they have finished that, the asphalt subsurface, and all the concrete has been installed. The final concrete surfaces have all been installed in all directions, and permanent poles have been set. Sidewalk work continues with the subsurface material and forms recently installed in the northwest corner of the intersection. I know I was there this, this uh, lunchtime today, and it was interesting. I was talking to people at a couple stores, and they were excited to see it, excited to see the changes, and, it's, and they said it's been a long time, and they're appreciative of the efforts, so we're excited to have that project come to conclusion. Mm -hmm. Kickingbird Golf Course work continues on the interiors of both the clubhouse and special events center. This work includes installing the fire suspension system, metal stud framing, plumbing, and duct work. At the clubhouse, the fireplace on the north patio is under construction. The water meters are being set. The windows are being installed in the special events center as well. At the driving range, and this is probably if you drive by there, you see a lot of activity over there. The light poles have been set. LED light fixtures installed. The driving test tees were laser leveled and topsoil and sand mix has been applied to all three tiers. The large drainage valley across the driving range is now filled in. At the short game practice facility, greens mix have been put in and all the greens and elevations have been flagged. All the tee boxes on the course have been sod except for holes six and 11. Finally, all the fairways have been sprug, uh, sprigged except for hole 11, which will be sodded once all materials are removed. We're still on pace for a, a special events center opening of March 2023 and all turf areas will be determined uh, as quickly as we come out of summer and uh, as, as, as winter and they're ready for the wear and tear of that. Finally, uh, I know this is a project many are looking forward to, Stevenson Park upgrades and Fort Street, uh, Fort Street streetscapes. Uh, we had our pre-construction meeting last week with the contractor. They will begin mobilizing at the end of this week. And once they start construction, uh, they have 240 days to complete. So probably spring, late spring, early summer of next year, we'll have a completed Stevenson Park. One of the goals of the project is to create a more passive open space, which will be achieved by constructing an event lawn and central lawn. Other elements of the park upgrades include a new larger pavilion, a larger space for the playground with new equipment, resurfaced basketball court, increased sidewalks to improve accessibility, and a water feature to complement the center lawn. One of the unique features will be repurposing and keeping the beloved rocket ship into the iconic art piece. I know Councilmember Moore is out there all the time playing there. <laughs> For many, this park is affectionately known as the Rocket Ship Park, and while this slide will be removed, the top will be, we will be refurbished and placed in the prominent spot in the rest of the park. Um, there will be some additional drainage uh, and some parking going in there as well to create a, a very welcoming area to that part of town. Mayor, those are the major items. I do have a, a point of personal privilege I just asked uh, this weekend was my uh, 29th anniversary, we had a great trip to Bentonville and Fayetteville, which was great. Uh, they're doing a lot of good things up there, and we'll take some of the ideas. My, I think my wife was getting mad. I was taking pictures of different traffic improvements. And <laughs> that's quality that's, time. Uh, I have over 40, so let me tell you some secrets. Yeah. <laughs> so with that, uh, appreciative her effort to, to put up with somebody like me doing these late meetings and all that. So thank you. Congratulations. So, that, Mayor, thank, thank you. you.